Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I totally forgot to film an intro for this video, but basically I'm going to be showing you how you can turn plastic bins into really nice front opening enclosures. Using plastic bins is becoming really popular in the reptile hobby because you can get really big ones for very inexpensive. So I want to take it up a notch and make them nice front opening enclosures because as much as I like using bins, it's a pain in the butt to have to take the bins down to get into them and whatnot. Like just opening from the top is kind of inconvenient. So I wanted my tubs to open from the front. So I'm gonna show you how we did that. So the bins we're going to be transforming are these 200 quart bins from Walmart. Very big, very inexpensive. And uh, there's my dog, hi Monet. So the company that I got my parts from is Specialty Enclosure Designs. And so here we've got the top and bottom pieces, the side pieces, and then the connectors for the top and bottom and your corner pieces. So basically it's a PVC frame that's going to hold your sliding glass doors. So basically step one, find a amazing person who can do all this for you when, cause you are incapable of using tools. So my boyfriend did put these together for me. So basically what he's doing first is just putting the frame together. So, you know, drilling holes, putting screws in, building the frame. The instructions said not to use a drill, but my boyfriend insisted on showing me that you can use a drill. So just be careful if you decide to use a drill. So because my boyfriend is the genius that he is, he lined up the corner pieces and middle pieces and just used a pen to kind of mark where he needed to drill so he could pre-drill holes before screwing in the screws. And so yeah, that seemed to work really well. And I just kind of sat here and let him do his thing. Don't use a drill, they said. Like I said, my boyfriend really wanted to use a drill. Now we're taping the frame onto the tub so that we can kind of mark on the tub where the frame lies so that we can cut the tub. And then we're going to mark on the inside where we're placing our screws to hold the frame onto the tub so that we can pre-drill holes. When doing this, you want to remember to place the marks pretty high up on your frame. That way you're not putting screws into the track portion of your frame where the glass doors are going to sit. And now to pre-drill the holes. That way you already have it done, you know where it's going to line up. So once you cut out the hole in your tub, you can screw your frame on. And here we have the finished frame. Now this is the part where I get to be helpful and clean up the mess that my boyfriend made. So the next step, like I said, is to cut out the tub where your frame is going to sit. Um, I didn't get this part on video because I had to make a Taco Bell run because more or less I was starving my boyfriend because this project took a lot longer than I thought it would. So uh, I went to get Taco Bell while he kept working. So this is what your tub will look like after you cut out the part that you marked. Now is the hardest part of the whole project and that's cutting your glass. So in this case, we used Lexan. Um, you could use Plexi, whatever you would like. I believe you can get it cut at Home Depot but my boyfriend had this big sheet, so he just cut it for me instead. Now we're getting to the home stretch. We're attaching the frame to the tub. Specialty Enclosure Designs does send you all of the hardware you need. Um, the only thing they don't send you is the glass. Like I said, you'll have to get that yourself, but 
they um, send you everything else. Um, their link will be in the description below. They have a lot of different options. And the nice part is that these pieces come in a lot of different sizes and you can always cut them to make the size frame that you want. So it's very customizable to whatever size tub you have. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Now I have these really big 200 quart front opening enclosures. I'm absolutely loving them. Um, what I didn't show you was after I went to the store and bought clear command hooks and stuck those to the sides. So I had a handle for the glass doors to slide them easier, um, but they're working really great. I'm absolutely loving them. Um, if you want to install a light on top, we did buy LED bars from Home Depot and my boyfriend screwed them to the lid. But yeah, so that's really all there is to it. So don't forget the link for specialty enclosure designs will be in the description below. So you guys can go check them out. And yeah, I absolutely love them. Highly recommend them. They're super customizable to whatever size you could possibly want. They are just fantastic. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because my next video, I will be showing you one of my snakes getting upgraded to this enclosure. So if you want to see the final product and what it looks like, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys and we'll see you for the next video.